I wanted to share with you a little bit more information about who you all are. Um, who are the folks who are here today? So um, this is uh, really about artificial intelligence and your engagement with it. So 15% of you uh, have reported that you've never used AI personally or for business use. So 85% of you have used it. And 50% of you, more than half, nearly half, have used it for both business and personal use. The number of times you've used ChatGPT is uh, between five and 10, and 10 plus represents about a quarter of you. The other half of you have used it one to four, five times in the past week. And what is ChatGPT? About a quarter of you uh, have no idea. You will know at the end of today's session exactly what ChatGPT is. Which AI tools have you used? Uh, the most popular are the AI, obviously ChatGPT. Um, next is Ch AI for text, which is the focus of today. Things like Grammarly, Jasper, et cetera. Uh, AI for images uh, is much less common. Uh, voice assistants uh, are also used. And then AI for video, which is the subject uh, of session five, uh, y'all haven't really touched yet. So we're gonna, you know, basically text is the entry point, uh, images is easier and, and video and audio, not, not quite so much. So um, now one of the biggest questions I wanna ask is have you guys saved money using AI tools? And my hope is that as we go through these seven sessions and you do the homework, you will actually start either saving money or making more money. Um, and the question, you know, is have you saved hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, or you haven't saved money yet? And most of you have not saved money yet. I know personally that I've saved more than $20,000 in translation costs uh, as a result uh, of using ChatGPT. So um, it, it can really be an incredible money saver. So with that, I'm going to stop sharing and invite my colleagues, uh, Jeff and uh, Nicole, to call out some of what they're seeing in the chat. Jeff, can you unmute? I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm, I'm getting a lot of questions, people asking about free versus paid tools, et cetera. I think throughout this course, you'll hear a lot about different types of tools, specifically with, with text generation focus today and some other tools around image generation, which we'll be sure to let you guys know which ones you can use for free, which ones are paid. Just for everybody on this session, ChatGPT is from a company called OpenAI. You can use that tool for free. So if you Google OpenAI ChatGPT, there's a way that you can, it should be the first result. You can click through and use their demo environment if you're curious in the short term. Perfect. And uh, Jeff, you're coming in a little low in terms of volume, just as a heads up. Um, one of the other things, guys, is I just launched uh, a poll about AI and you. We're gonna track the results each session, and we're gonna show you your growth in understanding and mastery of these tools session from session to session. And one of the things is when you answer the question at the bottom about have you saved money, it should really say, have you saved money or made money using AI tools? Uh, so Nicole, what did you see inside of the chat in terms of homework and people actually using these tools? I, it's amazing. So last week, I, we asked people what they were doing in their business and what was taking their time that they might be able to use AI for. But it, it was really consistent with a couple of main things being press and um, brochures that people spend time in creating. And today, we have such a variety of uses in how people have used AI over the last week. It is a huge variety. Um, we have customer value proposition, emails, industry research, um, writing a speech. Somebody's using it daily, um, using Dolly to generate images on social media. Um, there's so many more uses than people had even thought about last week to this week. Um, so I think that's pretty cool that press releases, um, oh yeah, LinkedIn as well and blog posts. There's a meta description, um, so and grant, somebody grant made writing. a video. Yeah. Grant writing. 
Yeah, there's such a variety that people, I think, just knowing about it, they've used it completely, like, just thought about everything that it could help them with. So I'm impressed with that. Perfect. Any Jeff, anything that jumps out at you? I think what I what's what's interesting reading all of these different use cases, I think for most businesses, there's something you can do using these tools that you can do easier now with these tools. And it's so interesting to just see the variety. I think as a society, we are actually learning what the impact is live together as a human race. And it's just really cool to see this. And I would just encourage everybody, if there's any problem you're trying to solve in your business, um, check out tools, Google things, listen to these courses, because I think you'll find that some of these tools are, can be really helpful in at least one way. And I've never seen a single business that hasn't found some use case. That's, and it's really cool to see. Yeah. I love it. You know, personally, I've used it, as I mentioned, for translation uh, of a course from English to Spanish. Uh, I used it to help me write a grant proposal for the Knight Foundation, and I used it to help my wife come up with an acronym for the project that she's working on. She knew what the letters she wanted to use were, but she didn't know what the letters should stand for. And within seconds, ChatGPT came up with it. So uh, incredible ways to help uh, spur creativity and, and save money.